Right. Good morning, afternoon, sometime. This is Okina Oka. I'm Reese. And today we're going to talk about a retro apothecary. Completely not in focus, I don't think. Yep, yep. There we go. Yeah. Yep. We're going to talk about how I painted this. So, we might as well get started. So, we started this off with a base coat of white, and then I, from the bottom, like a reverse Xenithal, I sprayed blue from underneath to give the shade. And because this is my Raptors chapter again, we put then a coat of Castellan Green, I want to say. Not Vulcan Green. Castellan Green on the knee pad and the shoulder pads. I've really taken out time to not not get anything on the white because of how much of a pain this is going to be to get it right. The key to this is just working very slowly, methodically, and just being patient. With that done then we start taking a bit of red, um, just Vallejo red, and filling out the detail work on the apothecary shoulder, shoulder pad. Again taking our time not to make, sh make any mistakes because that's just going to be an absolute nightmare to fix. And then while we're brave, we're taking a little bit of pink and doing the lenses for the eyes. This is where I started to sweat a little bit. Using my smallest brush I've got. Nice steady three point contact. I'm also using the pink then to fill out any mechanical lenses other than the helmet eyes. As I say that's, that's another one on the helmet but you get my point. And then we start to fill out the um, scriptures, so you call them scriptures today, with bone. I'm using I'm using screaming skull. in black again very carefully 
to just fill in the, the gaps between the armour. I think it's called a carapace. This is probably the most fiddly part of the whole paint job just because of how tightly spaced everything is and how much of a contrast to white the black is which will make it absolutely ridiculous to try and get the white back proper. I'm picking out uh, several different areas by here just to give the bottle uh, the model a bit of you know more definition in areas break up the white a bit then we're starting to fill out the gray on the chest piece just this this helps tie it into the rest of the army bit of white into that grey to start edge highlighting. And then we're going back in going back over some other details then with red I think it's red or purple. Red. Yeah, definitely red. And then we're using lead belcher for the metal parts. Surprising how much metal there is on this little little. little this little mini. We then go back in with grey to make the art of the weapon casings. Again, this ties in with the other rest of my uh, my Raptor's army. And then we fill in the wax on the purity seals with red. I don't even know what I'm doing by here. There we go. So we're filling in the leather pouch with brown. Um, yeah, brown. And then we're using a lighter silver then to, to differentiate some of the pipe work on the on the chainsaw. a bit of black to the case, some different parts of the case in to break the weapon up a little bit. Fill in some pipe work with some red.
and then we're starting to work on the little um, liquid vessels so what I'm doing by here I'm mixing purple and turquoise So blue green and uh, yeah blue green I think it's blue violet for this <coughs> so for this I start off with the blue violet on the top uppermost part And the way I work, and then is bring in the, in the violet. Yep, the violet. Then for the lower part, leaving two distinct light, two distinct areas. And so this this is a bit of a better way to see it. So I start with the blue, the the, yeah, the blue green, and then from the bottom up then we put the violet and then we start blending the blue green back into the violet to create a texture a blend of sorts unless of course at this point my camera decides not to focus So as you can see I just continuously work in from the, the light down to the dark. The finer the grade, the change in colour you can get, the, the, the finer your blend will be, uh, the, like the smoother it will look on the mini. It's quite a simple, simple process really when you break it down into little steps like this. So what we've done here then is how we mix a little bit of bone into the brown just to bring out the edge highlight. And then we're using Troll Slayer Orange to edge highlight the red. You can see by your, where I've left the white shade. I'm trying to just fill that in with the orange to really bring out the vibrancy. Not doing a fantastic job of it, I'll be honest. And then we're just ever so slightly touching the tips of the eyes to bring out the the lens. And then what we're doing then is working on the blue of the searchlight. mainly concentrate on getting the highest the, the brightest area so gradually mixing in white to create a halo effect in the center to show that's the concentration of where the light comes from and he's almost done so what we're doing here is taking the paint back off the metal connection point with a bit of isopropyl alcohol on a q-tip or a cotton bud depending on what country you live in this just takes any paint out of the way any potential greases or horrible bits in there and we super glue that on then and what we're doing then is coming in with a wash just to sort of accentuate some of the areas I believe this is null oil but I'm not sure. No, Agrax Earth, Agrax Earth Shade. I'm using that then to stain the purity seals, and there you go. Two hours, nice easy paint job. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.